All right, so here's the top I got um, off of Amazon. It's got some scratches across the top. It's probably been rolled over on a golf cart, but the rest of it looks like it's pretty solid. It's about the perfect size to put on the tractor. I've already been making a frame for it before I did this video, but I'm going to go ahead and show you this at the start. Instead of buying a five, six hundred dollar uh, tractor canopy, these ones I'll put in the description what the make of it is and what it goes to. And they're fairly cheap. If you live by a golf course that has a lot of their own cars, I guess you can get these for like 30, 40 bucks. But this is what I found. This is what I'm making my canopy out of. All right, today's project. Well, not just today's project. We've been on this a little bit. But uh, what I did is I ordered a used canopy off of a golf cart. Found it on Amazon. There's a company selling it. Has some scratches on the top. Don't care because they're not through the plastic and it's going to be on the top. And initial fitting on the tractor looks like it's going to work out pretty good and cover exactly what I need it to. So I've done a quick layout of how I'm going to do the metal frame underneath this. Yeah, that'll be flat. It won't be tilted. This is just a stand in for my ROPs on the tractor. And of course, I'm going to place a fan. I'm going to have it away from that a little bit. I'll be above your head. Speaking of the tractor, a little story. We went out and did some brush hogging for a friend's uh, sister today. A lot of hills, haulers next to a nice little uh, pond and this happened this is the parking brake cable the the annoying parking brake cable that every time you stop you've got to pull the parking brake or the tractor beeps every time you start going you have to have it down or the tractor beeps check this out it looks like uh, looks like it was actually greased and it still snapped. And I'm no uh, Hercules, but Jesus. That didn't last very long. I think the tractor still got, uh, I'm going to say, another year to two years of warranty. And if you've watched any of the past videos, you know that the, uh, the company I bought it from, Richard Small Engine in Ellsville, Indiana, they didn't like any of the videos I made because... They were inept on fixing the tractor several times, so they will no longer touch the tractor. So I sent the uh, factory rep an email today about this because I don't have a dealership that will work on it. That's got to be, that's more like rust. That's not any kind of oil residue, that's rust. Anyway, I sent him an email and told him what I needed. Let's see if he pulls through again this time and sends me the part and I can just put it on. And bypass find another dealership two hours away all right so back to the project so we've got it laid out kind of how we want it minus this I need to get some longer metal to mount that across um, I'm doing away with these I bought some flat stock I'm gonna have the flat stock come off and maybe uh, a brace go across or a gusset go across and I'll figure out something else with this but now I'm going to pull this metal off. I'm not going to show what I did, but it's just one by two square tube. And uh, I used some angle iron down here. Use the holes that were on the top. Have another piece laying here. I'm going to weld this to this, this to this. I use another piece of angle on this end. It's kind of a weird, odd angle, but I'm going to go ahead and bridge those gaps and close those off. I don't know, I might leave one of those open so I can run some lights uh, later on. But that's where we're at now, and I'll take some more video when we get a little bit further along. Alright, so here's what we got right now. Like you saw before, and I got some plates. I'm going to drill two holes here, two holes here. And I got over at the local uh, Real King. I picked up these. These are for use for, uh, sorry, leaf springs. And those will go through from the inside out, grab onto the ROPs, everything's just tacked until I get it off of this because that uh, spatter really makes this plastic look horrible. I don't want to burn the plastic up. So I'm going to pull these off and uh, 
get this squared up because this one's pretty far off. But it's just tacked, so it's pulled it out. So I'll square those up, and I think I'll still end up putting. Let's see here. Yeah. I gotta guess it here. I'll probably still end up putting this on there. I don't know. We'll see how sturdy it is after we get that welded up. Sorry about the compressor. I just gotta say, I hate flux core wire. I'm gonna go tomorrow and fill my tank up. We got a big spool around our flux core. I was using that as a, uh, a backup. So uh, that's what flavor of uh, bubblegum I got in here today. Flux core wire or big league chew, either way. It's more like uh, maybe some Wrigley Spearmint, but when I get my gas filled tomorrow, I'll go over these welds, make them look better. But this is basically the frame. The only thing that's really jacked up looking is these. They're at a funny angle, tilted back and tilted out, both sides. So that's what we came up with to uh, do that. So here's the top sitting on the frame. Like I said, I put those U-bolts through these panels into the ROPs. They'll be kind of a weird angle because that, that ROPs leans forward a little bit, but it should work out okay. Now for the important part, do the holes still line up? Uh, might do a little bit of pulling on those. You'd line up. Might shift a little bit. Doing the old... Well, actually... Yeah, it's got a little bit of movement in it, so those will line up. The next step is to sit it on the tractor and then attempt to measure for my U-bolts going across here exactly where I want it. So that's what's next. Well, crap! Looks like uh, we got a little snafu here, boys. LS, looks like they put a bracket here for what reason? I don't know, maybe like a beacon light or something. All I know is that it's in the way and it's got to go. With those being 12 inch long taps on the side, they should reach about it, eh, right about there, right above this. But we got to cut that off and get that out of the way. If you can see what I said about the uh, ROPs, leans forward that direction. All right, let's get this thing cut off and void the warranty. All right, guys, so here's my <laughs> my initial <laughs> measurements. We're off by quite a bit. Uh, <laughs> looks like we need to take about five inches off these side plates so it sits down. The front's about right. Let uh, me take a step back here. After we get five inches off the back, it will uh, come down quite a bit in the back. The front is about right, maybe just a little bit high after we take those five inches off. But basically, this canopy, it's going to scoot back another probably three inches or maybe two and a half inches. Scoot back that direction towards the uh, rear of the tractor. But I mean, it goes, it'll be covering uh, at least two or three inches over the dash when it even went scooted back. So that give you quite a bit of shade. And for perspective, it's not overly wide, but it, it should cover you when you're underneath the sun, out mowing and stuff. All right, so I'm gonna pull this heavy beast off. You can see what we're doing with those side pieces where we're going to uh, go ahead and drill holes and use those U-bolts to mount this thing pretty solid. It's, it's not too awful heavy. I'm guessing around 60 pounds or so. Okay, because of my shitty measurement skills, I had to add a tab back here. You can see it sticking out. To drill the holes for this to get it centered where I wanted it. So now I've got these U-bolts ran through to hold it on. And it's all below the tractor. I can still use these tabs to mount some rear-facing lights. Uh, I like to put some lights in the front corner, some turn signals, so when I'm taking this thing up the road, people don't try to hit, run me over or hit me. The next thing is, is to mount the fan up under here. All right, so keeping with the theme of I do everything as cheap as possible, and there's two reasons on this. Maybe the first reason is I do everything as cheap as possible. But <laughs> if you've ever been poor, 
you know what this is and these things you can get them all day long it's a bed frame coming different lengths get a couple king size ones now this still is brittle still or high strength still it's not good for welding it will crack and break on you but just cutting out some pieces uh, it'll be okay on this setup I'm going to use this to mount my fan this is going to go in between the rails of the canopy going out and it's going to rest on top of those and come down I'm going to mount the fan to it that way I better just pipe and cut the corners out there and use a grinder on real quick to get rid of the sharp ed edges and that's the start of the mount for the fan Okay, so we just drilled some holes, took some measurements, we centered our fan on these cross pieces, drilled some holes, there's some wiggle room. These slide from the top down, and like I said, the rest on the rails going across, and we'll sit it up there for now, and then sit it on there and just move it across back and forth to see where the best spot will be. I may even make some holes down here for some pins where I can move it as I'm mowing because when you're mowing the wind blows towards you and you need the fan further up to get more effect. So I'm going to go out these and test fit these on. Okay so after test fitting this the fan was way too close to the top of the canopy up under so it would not draw as much air as it can put out. So I had these from another project had some uh, square square U bolts, so I uh, chopped them in half. I'm going to take these, run it through, tack weld them to the top. Quick small weld, dirty weld. Now I'll drop the fan down, and on this section is where I'll sandwich the nuts and bolts and the tabs for the fan, which will hold it down. Uh, about four to five inches, which should give us a lot more airflow through there. Okay, so we've taken our U bolt, we've cut it, we fed it through, bent them down. And don't worry, these things will bend fairly easy once they're they're tacked on. You can just manipulate them a little bit, try to get them as straight as you can in that direction. And we're going to go ahead and weld those on there. You don't necessarily have to weld both sides, but uh, I'm going to throw a quick bead on the other side also. I'm going to take these off now that there's no reason to have those there. And then we'll just continue on the other side.
can move those, don't need those anymore. So here's where I'm done for now. I'm going to stick some lights up in those top corners, come down a little bit for flashing uh, possibly strobes in case I have to take this somewhere on the road. i got my fan dropped down with those uh, small brackets there and I could still move that front bracket forward a little bit more to straighten those out but for right now it's fine. It's got power wire runs up, got one small hole in the top of the ROPS down out the bottom of the bar over to the fuse block connected to this switch right here when the uh, ignition's on. I don't think it turned out too bad. Not for what I've got. I think that fan was like maybe $12, $13 on eBay or uh, Amazon. Top I got 170 bucks in because it had to be shipped because there's nowhere around here. It has uh, tops for golf carts, at least within a couple hours drive or an hour's drive. Everyone else leases their carts around this area. And uh, they just won't get rid of the tops off of them. Collar's not that bad against the tractor. Sits pretty level with the tractor. It's uh, pretty stout up there. But yeah, that's it. It's the final thing there you got going on. I can fill the air off that all the way down here by my hand. So when your head's up, you've got a good six to eight inches above your head there. I guess if you're wearing a big uh, cowboy hat. It wouldn't clear that well, but for me, I don't bump my head on. I'm always sitting down by the time I get underneath that. And a little closer to your head, it blows a little bit more. So, all right, guys, that's it for this project.